Hello subscribers, it's the incredible Itai. I'm here today in Stratford, London, Westfield, with the Western Panther crew, and today we're here to talk about drill music. So today I'm here with... Dushon. Dushon. So Dushon, do you listen to drill music? Yeah, quite a lot. Not gonna lie, quite a lot. Quite a lot of drill music. Quite a lot of drill music. Can you like it, yes? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, do you think drill music inspires violence? Nah, because violence was happening before drill music was about. You feel me? Because like, drill music takes part in it, I'm not going to lie, but it's not all about drill music. There's like other things which are helping drill music. But, no, nah, I wouldn't say it's, it's creating the whole amount of violence, no. Nah. Like, there's always been gangs around. There's always been gangs, but drill music hasn't been around forever. Is drill just a form of one's in expression of their environment? Yeah, because it's showing like what their what their life is going through. So, like, say for someone, someone's talking about killing because they can't really talk about anything else because that's all they're experiencing. I would say. Really. Good answers. Good answers. What do you think of the Conservative Party using graphic language, like saying they want to cut up Theresa May into pots and stuff her in their fridge? Well, it's it's quite violent. Yeah, I know, but. Um, it's, it's all they're experiencing because it's like someone like the government, they're not really doing anything to, to help the gangs like get off the roads or just better benefit their life. So I understand why they're rapping about it, but it's not really their fault because at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, it's their, it's, um, at the end of the day, it's, it's what they're living. Yeah. So do you believe that drill music is part of the problem or part of the solution? It's part of the solution because it's also because them paying on YouTube, um, Spotify, it's giving them legal money instead of just just it's giving them time to 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 open a new genre of their life, basically. Yeah. So tell me, do you think politicians should stop trying to demonize drill music and instead leave it be or just embrace it? I think they should embrace it to be honest because. Um, because it's it's giving the people that are making drill music, it's giving them inspiration to make more and more music. Instead of just cutting it up, what they should do is they should they should inspire them to make more music because it's putting them in a studio, it's making them do something legal which they're allowed to do, which they're obliged to do. Yeah. Okay. So, do you believe that grill music needs to be graphic, or could it exist without any graphic language within it? I mean, it could be graphic, it could not be, but it's up to the person which is making the song. It's not really my choice. It's up to if they want to express themselves, because it's, it's at the end of the day, it's them expressing themselves, telling them what's happening. But using, using saying the words like something about someone's mum, that's, that's, it's a bit over the top, but at the end of the day, it's, it's what they're living. What drill artists do you listen to? Um, I don't Digga D, Heady One, um, 10, 11, basically, Ross, Taze, anyth anything that I, I can enjoy, but it's not too violent. Why do you listen to these specific drill artists? Because what they're saying is, is, is true, and the flow that they have is quite... It's quite inspirational. I wouldn't say inspirational, but it's 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 helping them at the end of the day. It's like it makes sense what they're saying. So I can I, I can me myself I can like relate to what they're saying basically. So that's what that's the reason why I listen to them. Oh. How old are you, if you mind me asking? Um, I'm 16. I'm soon 17. Uh, and do you believe that drill music relates more to your generation than others? Um, yeah, it's more my generation, but it's also older generations which are now being influenced to make drill music. Yeah. Thank you. And lastly, do you believe that drill music is here to stay or another passing version of grime? Well, I think it's... it's it's linked to grime, grime, but um, I think I think myself that it should stay because it's giving people that like energy to like keep listening to the music. So I think it should stay personal. Well, thank you for the interview. It's been a good day. Yeah, yeah, cheers. It's a tie from Panther Crew, and I'm here with Chris. Chris. So Chris, do you like dr drill music? Drill music. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what that is. You know, drill music is the form of. You know, another form of grime music, 
like there's rap, American grime, then okay, well, uh, drill music. Uh, like grime, so if it's similar to grime, and then yeah. yeah. It's drill music being blamed for a lot of knife crime in London, a lot of violence you might have heard of on the news. Yeah. yeah. So, do you believe that drill music, this form of rap music, is to blame for the violence? Well, people should really appreciate music for just what it is and not be influenced by it to go out and do something stupid. So. Do you believe that violent lyrics should be used in rap music? Um, not necessarily. I mean, um, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't promote violence, but I guess it's, it's, it's a matter of people making the right decision and just appreciate, appreciating music for what it is, as opposed to taking it literally and doing something silly. So. Do you believe that drill music is being misused by gangs to send warnings out to each other or threats? Potentially, yeah. And lastly, you might have heard that conservative politicians have used threatening language like graphic language to describe Theresa May. For example, we chop her up and stuff her body parts in the fridge. Do you believe there's a double standard for politicians and drill artists? Well, that's a good question. I mean, they shouldn't be doing that being in the public eye, but yeah, yeah, in some respects, yeah. Do you believe it's natural for all people from all races and walks of life to use graphic violence, I mean, graphic language now and again? Well, it's just the world we, we're in, basically. But it's not like I condone it, but it's the reality of where we are and how things are these days. So. Well, thank you for your interview. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Chris. Okay, today I'm here with um, Jaden. Jaden, yeah. Jaden, Jaden, yes. Do you listen to drill music? Yeah. Listen. You listen to drill music, yes. So, what drill artists do you listen to? A lot, like two S1, all them guys, four ten, yeah. Do you believe that drill music inspires violence? Sometimes, sometimes. It's, I, I don't know, some people are just crazy, crazy people. I, I don't inspire this violence, but I just enjoy it, because they've got bars. Do you think drill music needs to use graphic language, or not? I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know, no. I don't know. When politicians use graphic language, like for example the Conservative Party, how some of the Conservative Party members were talking about Theresa May, car her up and stuff her in their fridge, do you believe that's acceptable? Nah, nah, no, 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 it's not, it's not. Do you believe there's a double standard for politicians and drill artists? I don't know, I don't know. Actually, don't know. Do you believe that drill music is part of the solution or the problem within society and underprivileged communities? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of people going out there messing about, doing bad stuff, like bad people getting killed and stuff because music like that is inspiring them. Yeah. So you believe it's part of the problem then? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, I, I don't know, kind of, yeah. But do you believe that everyone should have a right to express themselves with graphic language or not? No. No? No. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm here with... Ishak. And... William. William, so do you guys like drill music? Yeah, listen to here and there. Yeah, yeah, I listen to it all the time. Okay. Do you believe that drill music inspires violence? I don't think so. It's just like another way of art, to be honest. Yeah, it's just another way of art. Like, you can't really say music makes you violent or anything. Because I listen to drill, but you don't see me being violent. Like, it's just one of them things. Like, they're talking about the truth that happens. And the government are sleeping on it, but when, st when they're actually telling you what's happening, they want to say it's violence and that why can't you stop it? Why can't you help them get out of the situation that they're stuck in? Like, do you get it? Yeah. Do you believe that drill music and the graphic language used in it is just an expression of one's environment? I think so because obviously people um, like 
are brought up differently and like their background is different to everyone else's and obviously we're not like everyone else from outside of London and how they act and everything so we have like a different aspect and a different approach to everything else. That's the same like we're, we're brought up in an area that's deprived like you, if I was brought on say we were brought, in up, uh, we're brought up in like what Westminster and that it would have been a different story we wouldn't dress how we dress we wouldn't live how we live we wouldn't talk how we talk but because we live in what we live in one of the worst places in London it is where it is like I'm just, it's just the truth like they're speaking on behalf of everyone else who can't speak out yeah and and the conservative party some of those members were caught using like explicit language to describe Theresa May saying for example I wish I could chop her up into parts and stuff in their fridge do you believe there's a double standard for politicians and grime artists? Now if the politicians are allowed to say it how come everyone else can't say it like freedom of speech is something that can happen like if I wanted to say something I, sh I could be able to say it if I want to or if I don't want to like do you get it? Yeah now I think it's true, you know, like, obviously people express stuff differently and if the government can use it, then why can't we? It's like, you know how the music video, like, 10-11, the next stop got, like, shut down? It's like, people shut it down for what reason? Like, people are enjoying it, it has some explicit language, I understand, but the government can use it, so why can't we? You know what I mean? Like, if young kids love it, it had, like, 11 million views on YouTube, but it's got shut down. Like, for what reason? And lastly, do you believe that drill music is part of the solution or the problem? Drill music is an art form. What is music like? What is it doing? Is it hurting anyone? No. They're just speaking about what happens. Like that's that's what I think. Now I think like you know how like, Ed Sheeran and like singers like that they express love. Like obviously they express their own type of what like, like what they've been through. Do you know what I mean? But we like as in drill artists, yeah, they express what they've been through. Like through the road, through like tough times, like beef and stuff like that. So it's just like what their life has come through. Do you know what I mean? Okay, great interview. Thanks. Thank Good, you. cheers, man. I love you. Thanks for your time. I'm here with Clementina, Rashima. Okay. Well, first of all, do you listen to drill music? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, what do you think of drill music? It's good. <laughs> good. Do you believe that it inspires violence? No. <laughs> it depends how the person perceives it, how they listen to it. Why do you think that drill music is, is you know, fine, found threatening and believed to inspire violence? It doesn't. Wait, what? Wait, ask the question again. Because the videos of how like they talk about stabbing people and just violence, yeah, so the government needs something to blame all the violence that's been happening on, so they blame it on drill music. Do you believe that drill music is just an art form and expression of one's environment? Yeah, because if someone tells me, yeah, obviously, I'm going to wash up the plates today. I'm going to go to now wash up the plates with you. No, so it's dumb. I don't think it's influenced anyone to do violence. I agree, yeah. Do you think it's necessary to have graphic language in drill music at all? I think that's what, yeah. that's what makes the music. But like if there wasn't all of that, then it would just be normal music. What do you think of conservative politicians using graphic language to describe Theresa May? It speak for her. I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Do you think there's a double standard for politicians and drill artists to express themselves violently? Not really. Sure. Nah, I don't know. Not really. I don't think so. I'm not sure. And lastly, do you think drill music is part of the solution or the problem of London's current knife crime? Uh, it's some some part solution because because like they sit they like rap to get out their anger, don't they? Yeah, instead of stabbing up someone. Mm. So you're saying that drill music is used in a productive way instead of them just actually going out and physically doing it to expression their rage and releasing it through drill music rather than just physically attacking someone yeah yeah, yeah. and you believe that benefits youths of today in london so drill music is really part of the solution yeah yeah okay